UGD coming at you with a, uh, oh gosh, 20, 25 year old Glock 19 Gen 2. Yeah, drink that in, fellas. That is some vintage Glock goodness right there. Found this on the arms list. And uh, guys, if I'm going to buy a Glock, I want something a little bit different. I mean, hell, you can still go buy a brand new Gen 3 in the store. And I'm looking for something that's got some character that's a little bit oddball. And, and this one hit hit the mark. Absolutely. And part of what we're trying to do on this channel is I want to bring you some products that have seen some, uh, you know, some use, have been out there for a while. And, and to give you an idea of what to expect if, uh, you know, you drop the $500, $550 on a new Glock and, and what it's going to look like in 20, 25 years. A uh, quick rundown of this one, of course, the 19, four inch barrel, 15 plus one, uh, 26 ounces empty. So your 32 ounces probably fully loaded. Uh, this one in particular came with night sights. Look at that. Drink that in. And those babies are still bright. Absolutely. And uh, this one it also has a little bit of character. Look at that. A little bit of rub right there. A little bit there. Oh, yeah. And then just this big old hawk and mark right here. But the grip on it is in excellent condition. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the condition of the grip. has a little bit of that smoothness that you get from handling over time. Uh, the fit on it is is really, really tight. I'm impressed this thing's still uh, as snug as it is. You know, I'm not a big Glock guy, but uh, boy, I couldn't pass this one up. And, and for a used Glock at $350, came with the one mag, which, you know, Glock mags are not that expensive. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty comfortable about this. Let's go ahead and take this baby apart, make sure that maybe it's clear, because, yeah, you know, you got to do this to a Glock. Ah! So, uh, that's still tight as all get out. Yeah, really impressed. Look at that. And guys, this has already been to the range one time. Yeah, I've already fired some rounds uh, through this bad boy. Not ready to do a range report on it, but uh, God, when you got it and you're heading to the range, you just got to go ahead and take it with you. And that's still pretty clean. I haven't cleaned the gun. So if you look here, the rails, yeah, excellent shape, excellent shape. Really impressed with the, gosh, just for a used gun, you know, well taken care of. A previous owner, kudos, my man. Inside the slide, you know, look at all that Gen 2 goodness right there, fellas. That is just beautiful. Spring, excellent shape. A lot of times you see these uh, guide rods, they just get chewed up, but this one uh, really does seem like it's in pretty good shape. And the barrel, yeah, that's where, you know, Glock shine. They just make a really good barrel. Going to see a little bit of that rub, you know, from cycling. That does not bother me. That just tells me that gun has been around the block and seen some use. And uh, let's get right down to that barrel and take a look. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> those grooves are still strong. That thing is shiny even after pumping a few rounds through this thing. So, yeah, guys, this is what a 25-year-old used Glock's going to look like. And if you guys are out buying one right now and, uh, you know, you take care of it in a halfway decent manner and, uh, you know, wear is going to happen when you're uh, carrying that item. And then, of course, a Glock is a great carry weapon. Not going to do too bad, I think, after 20, 25 years. So this is your first look at a Glock 19. Uh, yeah, I did some enamel work. I just couldn't help myself. I just love throwing that. In. And that's a light gray, guys. I'm not a white guy that just gets too bright and uh, pops too much. But that little Glock right there, it needed to pop out of there. So this is your first look at a Glock 19 Gen 2, 25-year-old weapon that, man, shows a little bit of its age on its uh, you know finish of the slide, but everything else is just super awesome on it. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you think, boy, I ought to do something other than this, hit the thumbs down, and uh, please subscribe. I need subscribers.